But how did the world's most famous nanny acquire all of these fabulous powers without being a student at the same school that gave us the boy who lived? Consider that she has a bottomless bag, just like the one Hermione carries, and a magic mirror that talks to her, just like the magic mirror in Hogwarts. She also casts easy cleaning spells, which are used everywhere in Hogwarts. Frankly, the question is less whether she's from the famous school of wizarding, and rather why a powerful wizard like Poppins would be interested in a muggle family like the Banks. What if Mary attended Hogwarts and excelled in muggle studies, and was then hired by the Ministry of Magic after she graduated to investigate muggle children who had magic potential? Her magic wand is clearly her umbrella, just like the one Hagrid carries. We see her blatantly use a levitation charm when she takes the kids to see Uncle Albert, and she was obviously a Hufflepuff given her commitment to hard work, patience, and fair play. And she's not alone in her investigation. Bert is clearly a squib, possessing no magical powers of his own, but able to perform magic using enchanted objects, like a chimney brush that allows him to fly. So why does Poppins never make an appearance in the Potter series? It's possible she had to go into hiding after the rise of Voldemort, who would have hated her for her fondness for muggles. Or she may have been too careless using her magic in front of non-wizards and had to flee from the ministry. But the children whose lives she touched passed on the stories from one generation to the next until she eventually became a legend in her own right, remembered in books, plays, and of course, one of the most famous children's movies of all time.